Hi everyone, it's Carly Walker. Thank you for doing yoga with me today. We are gonna get out some energy. We're gonna do some jumping around and some yoga poses that require a lot of energy, but it's gonna feel really good to our bodies and it's gonna make us really strong. So like anything, we wanna take a big breath, but stay to the end because I have a challenge for you. And you have a ball or a stuffed animal, amazing. That's what we will do a little fun challenge at the end. Okay, here we go. Let's take a big breath in to start our energetic yoga class. Here we go, guys. Big breath in. Catch the sun. Bring it to your heart. And exhale. Let's inhale again. And exhale. All right, guys. Here we go. So our first animal is going to be a dog. Now, I have a real life dog here today. That's my dog, Rocky. And it's amazing because he has a friend here. So this is Yogi. So we got Yogi and Rocky. Here we go, guys. Let's do our downward dog. So hands on the mat. All right. Legs are straight. I'm looking back at my feet, okay? So press those heels down. We're just warming up, okay? Because we want to get a little bit warm, and this is so good for our bodies. So lift one leg up in your downward dog. Can you bring your knee to your elbow? And then downward dog, bring it back. Let's do the other leg. Lift it up elbow to knee, have them meet, bring it back. Good. All right. One more downward dog and then come on down and let's do doggy breath. Good. I'm going to be, we're going to be jumping around. So you may have to be breathing like that. Okay, here we go. Our next animal for, for our yoga class is my beautiful peacock. So here he goes. He's showing his feathers. So I want you to show me your beautiful feathers. Right? So a peacock a lot of times just walks like this and you don't even know and they show your feathers. So let's do that together. We're just marching. Show me your feathers. So really strong arms. If I were to come to you, I could not press those arms down. Bring it together. Walk, walk, walk. Show me your feathers. Good. Remember, strong arms. I would not be able to push down if I came and pressed on your hands, right? So we're going to do that ten times. Ten. Nine. Eight, keep going. Seven, six, five, five more. Four, three, faster. Two, one. Hold your feathers up. That makes for really strong arms and shoulders. Take a breath in. And out. My heart's going fast. Is your heart going fast? That's good. That's exercise. Okay, a little more jumping. So here's my frog. He's a little frog. He's very cute. So we're gonna do some frog jumps. So let's take a big breath in. Now, we're gonna squat down. So when there's a group of frogs, it's called an army. But I want us to do some frog jumps, but I shouldn't hear your feet. So you're an army of frogs, but you can't hear each other. So here we go, guys. Get ready, jump up, and do it quietly. Ready? You might hear a little tap with your feet. Ribbit. Let's do three more frog jumps. Big breath in. Ribbit. Two more. Ribbit. One more. Ribbit. Good. Let's take a breath in. And out. All right. So we've done our dog. We've done our peacock. We did the frog. Now let's do horse. So this is my beautiful horse. So we're going to do some horse jumps all right you can always do the animal sound nay whatever you want we start in downward dog so here we go guys get into your downward dog and then we're just gonna look between our hands kick up good do it again kick up good stay in your dog for a minute two more kicks up look between your hands and this is the start of handstand do it again So those are called horse jumps and it's really good because it makes your upper body really strong. You can also practice against a wall, right? So if you were to go over, the wall is there. Okay. Now, next is bunny. So before we do bunny hops, let's do bunny breath. So it's like this. You ever see bunnies nose they go up and down do it again okay grow your bunny ears 
We're gonna do 10 bunny jumps. Big breath in, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice bunny hops. More bunny breath. Good. Remember, if you're frustrated or feeling any kind of big emotions, you can take puppy breath, you can take bunny breath, whatever you want, just inhale, exhale. It makes you feel so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little more work now. This is my hot dog dog. So when you see this, that means we're going into a plank. So we're gonna go into a few different kinds of planks. So let's come to the ground. Okay, so plank pose, hands go down. And your bottom comes down a little bit lower, so we're not sagging, but we're not up high and downward dog. We're in the middle. So hold your plank pose. We want to get long like a hot dog dog. Hold it there, guys. Okay, here comes the, the challenge. Roll onto one side of your body. It doesn't matter which side. Press up those hips, and you can always step a foot in, forward, in, in front of you to help you, right? Big breath in. Let's go to the other side. So I'm gonna turn my back. Here we go, guys. Plank on the other side. Lift up those hips. You can have little like hands that sparkle. Good job, guys. And then we'll come hands down, stretch back into a downward dog, and then come on down. Okay. So Rocky is on my bag. I need something in there, Rocky, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> so. Get your ball, get a stuffed animal, whatever it is. Here is our competition. So take, take whatever object you have and we're gonna put it between our feet. So I'm gonna turn this way. Now this does not mean I'm gonna do a great job because it's a competition for me, but let's do it together. So take your ball or your stuffy, hands can go behind your back, wherever you want. If you want an extra challenge, they can go here. Let's lift it up, okay. So before we do anything, we're gonna plow pose it back so my feet go over my head. I touch the floor with my object and I come back and I come to a balance. Hold the ball. Tell me what your favorite ice cream flavor is. I wanna hear. Um, let's go back. Touch the object to the ground, come back up. Tell me what your favorite animal is. Mine is a dog, of course. But I have two cats, so I love my cats too. Roll back. Roll. Tell me what your favorite dinner is. I'd love to hear about you guys. Keep it up. Okay, challenge two. We're gonna throw the ball and you're gonna try to catch it with your hands. All right, or, or stuffed animal. See, it works with an animal too. Lean back, throw that animal up and catch it. Good job, let's see if I can do it with the hot dog dog. All right guys, squeeze that object, throw it up with your feet and catch it. <laughs> Good job guys. Whoa, that was a lot of work. Those exercises make you so strong. And I'm so happy that you did this with me today. So let's take a big breath in and out. Because no matter how crazy things are around you and you're jumping and you're moving all over, it's also important to find a way to also sit and take a deep breath. Because no matter how much crazy things are going on around you, you can always be calm inside. So let's take a big breath in together and out. Good work, you guys. So I'm just gonna ask you a favor to please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because this is my mission to teach mindfulness to kids, moving and breathing because it's so healthy physically and mentally. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Namaste.